Greetings Scouts, Fayot here and in today's video we're gonna take a deep look at the Electropylon driver. The Electropylon driver used to be my favorite gun in Returnal when I started playing, going through the second cycle of the game, trying to beat the final boss and it is a pretty unique one. It can be pretty devastating but it packs a lot of utility as well. In this vid we're gonna go after a build per se. It's all RNG of course but I'm gonna try to give you the best options when it comes to combat. We're not gonna focus too much on the utility, although I will be commenting on that as well to give you a general idea. By the end of the bit, I will give you the four best possible perks that you can get. I'll have to inform you up front that I'm making these vids daily and I will be covering all the weapons in Returnal, so you can look forward to those as well. Without further ado, let's get to it. So, the Electropylon driver, as you can see to the right, as with all weapons, we have four groups, three of which have two possible options and one has three possible options. We can, at best, have four perks on it, again, as with all weapons, and we will start from the bottom, going upwards, trying to get the best possible combination. First and foremost, between protective pylons and blade poles, I would suggest you take a look at your initial artifacts and decide what you're trying to do with your end game build. That's for a very, very specific reason. Blade Pulse, as with Blade Harmonizer above it, are both related to a melee build. A build that results around melee attacks and you can go after one of those they're pretty tricky to pull off in Returnal but they can be pretty viable excluding some of the bosses because of the distance between you and them the nemesis for example but after taking a look at your initial artifacts and after you have decided wow you can approach the whole run you can make a choice between melee related perks and range related perks for the purposes of this vid, we're going to go on the traditional route of more ranged focus approaches. So we're going to pick protective pylons. Protective pylons give you, gives you extra protection when you're close to the pylons that you have put on the ground. A description of every perk and its function will be in the vid's description below. I will try to list them from most to least desirable as well. So, in order to avoid wasting your time, I'm just gonna go after my best choices and you can check below to get all the info you need. So, for the bottom bracket, we will take protective pylons. Above that, we can pick between Blade Harmonizer or Enlarged Saber. Again, Blade Harmonizer is tied to melee. We'll take Enlarged Saber because it can turn your magazine into an absolute hog you can have a lot of ammo in there and having a lot of ammo in the pylon driver can make it quite deadly so in large chamber it is here above that we have finisher or streamlined chamber they're both very very good finisher will deal additional damage to weak enemies and streamlined chamber will increase your rate of fire it's up to personal preference, but if you have a large chamber and you manage to get streamlined as well, it will be a very, very powerful combination. It's not a make or break scenario here, but you can pick what you prefer. I would go for finisher against smaller enemies and streamlined chamber against bosses. And for the top, both Obolite Extractor and Silvium Extractor are utility related perks. Obolite Extractor will give you more Obolites after the enemies died if they have hurt you first. And Silphium Extractor increases the chances of enemies dropping Silphium. Very, very good for your viability, for your survivability, but not the best when it comes to actual combat. Pylon Web, on the other hand, is devastating. It shoots out the needed amount of pylons to create a web. That's a three-point configuration. So you shoot three of your pylons out at the same time if you shoot it on enemies you can just shoot and forget you can move to something else with your time because enemies will be taking a shitload of damage possibly after that and coupled with streamlined and enlarged chamber you can land a lot of the things on the enemy and you can watch them 
burn from a safe distance. So finalizing, it is protective pylons, enlarged chamber, streamlined chamber or finisher according to your preference and situation, and pylon web if you're going for combat. Okay, this is a purely combat-oriented build. Just for the fun of it, I'm gonna suggest an alternative. Go protective pylons and large chamber, streamlined chamber and silphium extractor for viability, or obelite extractor if you tend to get hit a lot and you have a plan in place to survive, like having the parasite that heals you when you collect obelites but you cannot use silphium, you can use that along with obelite extractor and have a constant heal mechanism on you so you can heal on demand and play very very safely. These are just some thoughts to experiment with a gun. If you go with my initial build listed here you are gonna have a very easy time clearing the second cycle. The first cycle will be a joke so give it a go and of course let me know what your favorite combination is if you manage to land an absolute combo like the one I mentioned before. Link me a screenshot that I will fave the comment and let other scouts drool over your find. Hope you found this useful. I'm going to be covering all the guns in Returnal. I also covered the story. I will be linking the vid by the end of this one. Until next time be well, stay frosty and always try for perfection. Cheers.